There's been a lot of requests for breakfast burritos, so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing for this 12th episode of the meal prep series. These taste absolutely incredible. They're super easy to make, and all of the ingredients are relatively cheap, so that's always a bonus. Let's get straight into it. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, guys, we're going to start us off with three potatoes. These are all rounder potatoes, so they're pretty much suitable for everything. And with these, we're just going to take off a bit of the side so we can lay it flat on the bench to avoid it wobbling around. Then slice this into nice thin strips the whole way across. With the strips, you can stack them up in twos and threes, then make thin slices across, slicing them up into nice little chips or fries, whatever you want to call them. Then we're going to rotate them 90 degrees, stack them up again, and dice into really small, fine, even sized pieces. With that done, place these onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper, making sure to scrape the bowl to avoid any waste. Spread them out so they're not all sitting on top of one another, then drizzle over 2 teaspoons or 10 milliliters of olive oil to lube these up. Sprinkle over sea salt flakes to taste, and then hit them up with cracked black pepper, 10 cracks worth. Spread them out again to get these nicely coated, then transfer them over to a preheated oven that's set at 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake for 40 to 45 minutes or until soft and golden. Next we need 4 chorizo sausages that can be substituted for any of your favourite sausages and with these make a thin slice down the side which will then make it easy to peel off the skin or casing and we don't want this in the recipe as it can be really chewy. Let's then slice these in half lengthways, slice each half into quarters, rotate 90 degrees and slice into even sized pieces. Also depending on how soft your sausage is you may also be able to squeeze it out of the casing but if it's hard like mine you will have to slice it leaving us with all of this. To add some cheese to this recipe, I'm using 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of cheddar cheese. You can use any other good melting cheese of your choice. And with this, simply run it along the larger side of a box grater to break it down, leaving us with all of this. Moving on, we need one ripe avocado to which can be opened up by running a knife around the seed, being careful of your hand, and I do recommend doing this on a board. Once open, use a dull knife or spoon to pop out the seed, then scoop out the flesh with a spoon and slice this into thin, even sized strips. Also, this can be optional if you don't like or don't want to use avocado. Last but not least, we need 8 to 10 eggs, depending on how much you like eggs, but I recommend using 10 so you can have 2 per portion. With these, crack them on a flat surface, which prevents eggshell from hopping in. Place them into a mixing bowl and use a whisk or fork to break up the yolks, then mix this all together until everything is evenly combined. Now to get this cooking, we're going to place a pan over a medium high heat and whilst it's still cold and no need to add oil, slide in the chorizo and then we're going to fry this off for about 4 minutes, mixing it around regularly just until the fat starts to render and it becomes a really nice beautiful golden colour. Also whilst doing this, you can practice that flick of the wrist motion which is a great way to mix ingredients around without the use of utensils, but once that's all done and you have something that looks like this, this can then be removed from the stovetop and transferred over to a bowl which can then be left to rest for the time being. Let's then place that same pan back over a high heat, add in the whisked eggs using the rendered chorizo fat instead of oil, season to taste with sea salt flakes and 10 cracks of black pepper. Then whilst mixing around the whole time, cook this for one to one and a half minutes just until you have beautiful soft fluffy curds. And we do want this to be slightly runny as it will continue to cook even after removing it from the heat. And once that's done, remove this from the stovetop. Right about now, our potatoes will be beautifully golden and soft, which means these can be removed from the oven. Now to put these together, we need 5 tortillas, and I've put these in the microwave for 15 seconds to make them nice and soft. Spoon over half a tablespoon or 15 grams of sour cream, spreading it out evenly. Add in 1 fifth of the scrambled egg, again spreading it out, then place over 1 fifth of the soft golden potatoes. Same again with the golden chorizo sausage, or whichever sausage you decided to use. Sprinkle over the grated cheddar cheese, or your cheese of choice, and finally lay over the avocado. To roll these up, fold in the sides, gripping them tightly, then roll over the rest of the tortilla, tucking in any rogue ingredients that try to make a run for it, leaving us with this tightly wrapped breakfast burrito. These can then be wrapped in some food wrapping paper or placed into an airtight container, doing whichever is easiest for you, and these will last up to 5 days in the fridge and up to 4 months in the freezer. As for serving, let them defrost overnight and heat either in the oven or microwave until hot in the center. Slice them in half, which then reveals that beautiful center that's packed with all of that delicious flavor and texture. And like always, here is all of the nutritional values of the whole dish. The last and best thing that's then left to do is serve this with your favorite sauce. And to make it all worthwhile, we can then dig in. <laughs> 